Hello! Welcome to Shapes 2! You already know I'm obsessed with it. Uh, Shapes 2 came out in Early Access uh, a few days ago. I've played it a bunch. I feel happy enough doing content for you. This should tide us over before Factorio Space Age comes out, am I right? It's a factory automation game. It's different to Factorio in many ways. I'll try not to just compare it to Factorio at every available opportunity. Um, but it is it is a different beast. It's not just it's not just a copy. It's very good. I very like I very much like it. Uh, I've just downloaded the 0 0.0.8 patch, and I feel confident that that's all going to work. So let's jump straight into something, shall we? I thought what I'd do is I would do uh, challenge mode in hexagonal form. Uh, broadcasts from shapes. Spell shapes properly. Uh, challenge mode means that you can't copy and paste for free. I don't, I don't really know how I feel about that, to be honest with you. But we'll see. Can't have as many platforms, which shouldn't really be a problem. And uh, we have to just make more shapes to pass goals. And then in hexagonal forms, all of our shapes will have six parts instead of four. I don't, I don't really know what this means. I don't know what hexagon is. I really like hexagons. Hexagons are cool. So let's let's just go. Let's just go. Let's just go. I will try and do this in the old broadcasts formats, but I thought for episode one, I'll just record for a bit. Thank you for signing up. I will strive for efficiency and build no spaghetti factories, no promises there, and I will not damage any buildings. Don't even know it's possible to damage any buildings, but still. Shapes. I'm playing in RBY colour mode, red, blue and yellow colour mode, uh, which is not the default, because I want to be able to make orange seeing as orange is my favourite colour. Uh, if you play in the default RGB mode, it's additive colouring. And it's not hugely intuitive to add red and green to get yellow, especially when it obviously looks like paint. So this this makes the most sense. The problem with this is it's, uh, there are a few bugs with this in that things don't always look exactly how they should look. But anyway, it's a simple game to start with. You mine shapes. So it's a lot less uh, when people ask me what's what is it like. It's more about the logistical challenges of a factory. It's more about it, you, because you have everything available to you straight away, I can build as many conveyor belts as I want, I can build as many buildings as I want. I'm only really limited by space. So it's more of a logistical challenge. We don't have to do any sort of mall things or anything. You know, we don't have to go, oh, we need this to. The only thing, we will have to do that for blueprints when we get blueprints, but I didn't do blueprints in my first day far, so that'll be brand new for me. Uh, and the main aim is to just deliver things to the vortex here. So you can see our very first milestone, in hexagonal mode at least, is it wants this shape, hexagonal red, and it wants this other shape, hexagonal U for uncolored. Whoops, this is the one I keep meaning to click. Uh, and I guess H means, yeah, no shape code. I don't know what other shapes we can get. What other shapes can we get? So I guess this is, got triangles, teardrops, got chevrons. Oh my goodness, it's just going to get out of hand very quickly, isn't it? Okay, so let's just start by delivering these. 
So the cutter up here, it says we need four of these to saturate a belt, but we don't actually have straight away the upper floor. We're locked into two dimensions for now, so all I'm going to do for this is just do this. Just to give you an idea. Oh, it's going to cut that in half. There you go. Get rid of the two halves. This already isn't going to work. I've just realised. So four extractors can fill a belt. But then because we're doubling the side, we're doubling the outputs here. We actually need two belts to do this. 300! Got to deliver 300 of these. Oh my gold. Better, better speed this up, haven't we? Better speed this up in some meaningful way. Oh, I can't copy and paste yet. Oh, that's going to be a pain. I'm going to forget about that many, many times. Oh, wait, no, this isn't saturating the belt, because that's why I did two. That's exactly why I did two in the first place. That's okay. I know what I'm doing, folks. It's fine. So as they get delivered to the vortex, we get this tick to say, yeah, that is fine. That is a shape that you need. And the milestone's ticking up up there. It's going to be quite difficult going back to having absolutely nothing. Not even having the second floor is, is is a pain. I've got some blueprints from my from my main save file, and what I'm hoping really is that I can't really show you. What I'm hoping is that the hexagonal thing introduces a few more wrinkles. It got to the point in my main save file where I was. I felt like I had a lot of the blueprints that I would ever need. You know, I had a module that just turned shapes, I had a module that cut shapes in half, I had a module that coloured shapes, etc, etc. And it was fine, it was good. But I needed a, I needed a bit more of a, a bit more of a challenge. And a bit more of an impetus for that challenge, because in my other save file I'd sort of done all the research and I was just sort of mindlessly levelling up an operator level which didn't really seem to do anything so okay well seeing as we don't have the second layer or anything we may as well just sit and wait for this to be done but of course we don't have to sit and wait for this to be done because this is the broadcasts from format so let's wait there was some more on this side I didn't notice so we're bringing those in, and also, up here in the tasks, there are sort of these... The milestones are what you have to progress to unlock more things. The tasks are just bonus things. You get more research points so you can unlock more stuff later. So, thankfully, the very first research task is just this blue and white. Blue and uncolored, I shouldn't say white. Well, I can say white actually, because when you have the red, blue and yellow colouring, you make black in the end, not white. So, I'm going to call this white. So, please forgive me. So yeah, the blue and white thing. This should obviously go a lot faster than the other one. Hooray, we've done the milestones. A shape goal has been completed. So what does it want from me? Now, it wants this. Now, how does this work? We need to rotate the thing. It rotates it 90 degrees clockwise, which I'm assuming... And, and we did that one as well, thank you. Um, so we've done this one now, so it's saying we don't have to do this, but for, let's, let's, let's wait, let's get rid of this and experiment with how the rotators work in hexagonal mode. Because I feel like, yeah, it's not actually 90 degrees, is it, in hexagonal mode? It is 60 degrees. What I shouldn't have done is deleted that, because I think all we're going to need to do is just do a simple rotate operation on these. These actually need two per belt, so we can do this. We don't have to do any weird splitter magic or anything. It just knows. It sends one up, one down, one up, one down. So then this goes... Let me just clear it all out as well, just so it's obvious what is happening. Even though, you know, we've all got eyes, I assume, here on YouTube anyway. 
So this is the 90 degree counterclockwise rotator, which is obviously only a 60 degree counterclockwise rotator. So we want one bit that is one white and two red, and one bit that's two white and one red. So as long as we split it in half in some meaningful way. Good. Easy. Yes, good. All right, and then down here, this task is now just cutting it in half. So we need the cutter. We need the we need the proper cutter. This is the separates into east and west half one. There's another cutter that just gives you half destroy. Yeah, but we need six research points for that. But thankfully we've got some. We've got a trash for now. So let's do. So we want. So now we can use all four of these because we're doing an exact one to one on the shape, right? So this is, for every four things we bring in, we get eight pieces out, but we actually don't want these pieces at all. So these can go back onto the belt, and that is correct. And if I were more sensible, I would have built the other one. I would have built this in such a place. No, can't afford blueprint. No, when am I going to get blueprints? Show locked. Oh, it's a, it's, it's a milestone, isn't it? Blueprints. Alright, we'll get blueprints very soon. Uh, so let me efficient, efficiency this up a bit. Efficient, efficiencize. Let's efficiencize this factory. So yes, it's about the joy of getting all of these logistical challenges sorted. There's no overhead in terms of waiting for belts to be produced in a mall somewhere, or waiting for, you know, having to go through the rigmarole of, you know, you just place stuff. You just put it down. You just smack it down. So there's this. Thank you. And now we need... Now we need this one. We need just one tiny bit of the chevron. So um, we can... We can keep all of this... Down here. Let's get rid of this. So then we need to rotate... We need to rotate 90 degrees, even though it's not 90 degrees. So this is going to take a bit of internalizing. Is exactly, yeah, okay. So don't do it. Don't do it like that. Basically, do it exactly the same. So just rotate this bit first, and then. So you can mirror every building as well, which is nice. So then, if we put that in here like this. These are these are the bits we want. Now the real question is is can I be bothered to do that whole thing again? Like this. Cause now when I split it I'll get even more. The problem with this is that if I had the second layer then I would do this. No no question about it. But because I can't get this bit out very easily. For the sake of simplicity. Because by the time I finished designing all of this, probably would have been done. You know what I mean? Oh, that's not quite right, is it? That's going to have to go there. Like that, there we go. Yeah, by the time I actually designed all of that and squeezed it all in, I probably could have just uh, finished this task in and of itself. Uh, rotator. We need the other side. Uh, yeah, if you're new to the channel, I play a lot of Factorio. I play a lot of factory games. Um, 
I try not to waste too much of anyone's time except my own, which is why I'm not doing a full Let's Play, because a full Let's Play would be, you may imagine this for 80 hours. Well, how fun, right? Um, we try have a, we try have a nice chill time here and do some interesting things and mostly just have me show you interesting things and talk to myself and I, you know I, I don't like leaving the house or interacting with many people in any way so you know so yeah, if you want to stick around and watch some shapes if this is your first time in the factory genre I would say this is an excellent place to begin to be honest with you and uh, we're gonna play shapes for a bit. So yeah, let's wait for some more milestones to be done, shall we? Okay, while well, that's ticking over, I'll try to use all bits, all red bits this time. While well, that's ticking over, show you some other cool things that Shapes does for you. Uh, if you click an item, you can look at its efficiency. So it's just working it out up here. 80%. 75%. And this is this will be because so the belt's not always moving basically. Oh, what's going on here? That doesn't help. So you need one belt per belt. You need one belt to get a full belt. So that's good. So this machine is saying we need four of these to completely use a belt up. So I imagine that now that we've fixed that little thing, but probably not because. The rotator, you need two rotators to empty a belt, and we're only using the one here just to move this along. You know, you have to balance out making your designs 100% efficient and, you know, how long it's actually going to take you to fulfill this task. I could have designed this to be 100% efficient, but as, as you can see, you only need 450 of them. And then that's, that's this one done. You know? So they gave us some research points. You can use the research points to upgrade your belt speed and your things like that. I like to wait until I can upgrade all of these in one go to keep the ratios the same. So if you update, if you upgrade your conveyor belts, for example, to be 90 a minute, but you don't upgrade your cutters, that just means you need six cutters per belt now. So you don't really gain anything. I mean, you, you kind of do, obviously, but like, if you upgrade everything in one go, then all of your designs sort of stay in one piece. We do need this as well, so like maybe... Maybe we could just hold on to these in some way. Just leave these ticking over. Takes the... Splitter takes the exact west and east half of a shape. And I believe that is like always set by the global... Um, whoops. By the global compass down here so I think if you put like this in here like this and then split it in half you get exactly the same shape as you would even though it's like rotated 90 degrees because it's splitting it exactly on the, on the uh, north uh, down the north south line hopefully that made some sort of sense uh, right we've done the milestone now stacker and second floor now we're talking. You were awarded the stacker and second floor, allowing you to stack shapes and build multi-layer factories. Let's see what you can do with them. So now, finally, at long last, after 20 minutes, we can build two layers. So we don't... The fact that we can, like, lower our... You know, have our belts go over each other. Actually, I think we probably could have done that before with the belt launchers. Did I always have the belt launchers and I just didn't notice? I always forget about these things. Always forget about these bloody things. Anyway, where were we? We were quickly looking at... Well, that's funny, because Milestone 2, you need the opposite side to the pin task here anyway. Um, so what was I saying? Yes, this splits exactly down the north-south line, so to make this one we would need to rotate this shape clockwise once. So we would need this. And we need two of these to completely um to completely do a belt. Can you squeeze this in here? Almost. You can't have a cross shape of a conveyor belt. Because I mean obviously if you think about it. Because this thing needs to push 
So if it was a cross, it has two inputs, you can't then have two. I'm making shapes with my my hands, like you can see me. Um, I think now that we've got the second floor, it might just be better to tear this whole thing down, but also I kind of don't want to. That's the wrong way. I'm going to have to anyway, because I don't think this is... You know what, let's just tear the whole thing down. It's fine, it doesn't cost anything, and we can get rid of this as well now. Maybe try and use this. So we need this for the milestone, and we need the other half anyway. So we need to keep both halves, and then... Oh my goodness. Oh god. Whatever. Don't think about it. Don't If you don't think about it, it can't hurt you. So each belt needs to be rotated 90 degrees first. That's easily done. That gives you this shape, and then this needs four cutters to work. That's fine, and we actually need all of these anyway. The pin task. What's the next step of the pin task, just to be sure? Oh, it's just cutting it even more. That's okay. So let's use a belt launcher here to not be complete dullards about it. Feed that one in there and feed that one in there. Whee! Look at him go! Cool. And then we need to stack, but we only need to stack one segment on top of this, so we need, like... Let's just keep, north, keep the compass north-south, just for the sake of simplicity. So we need to, we need to cut this in half, for sure. No, no, that's not true. We need to... We're going to need to rotate this one as well. Like this. This is the bit we need. And we need... But we only want... Whoops. We only want this bit of this side. So let's throw this in the trash. Put this up in the stacker and put this on top of it. And then thankfully that's already in the right place. Okay. Yeah. Alright. I mean, this is not the most efficient build in the world, especially because the rotator is going to take two things, but... I mean, before copying and pasting, it's going to be... It's going to be a bit slow before we copy and paste, but... Wait, what's gone wrong? What's happened? Oh no, because this is here. Okay, uh, let's... Get rid of this. And again, we'll do belt launching, I suppose. So this cutting was okay this way around. This was garbage. I've forgotten how the, I've forgotten what the build was like. Oh no, this is fine. This is the bit we need. So then we just need the stacker like this. It's like offset by one, isn't it? That would almost be good. Um, that's fine, I'll just do it like this. Except I don't like that at all. I'd rather it just go up straight away so that there's no... Well, there's always going to be a collision. What am I talking about? Can we do some cool sort of one up, one down thing? So this one goes on the bottom. But this one goes up. This one goes on the bottom. This one goes up. Not bad, not bad. And then, yeah, we need 900 of those. Oh, that's good, the other task is finished while we were faffing around with that. That's okay. That shape is eminently doable with what we've got. So with this one, we would rotate 
um, we would rotate this section before we dropped the other bit on top of it. So then, when you when you drop from a stacker and it it land, it would just land on the base. So this is actually already fine. We would just need to rotate this before it went in, which is kind of annoying because I've built this exactly in the right place. Oh, I can rotate up here. That would be better. Yeah, I can just rotate this. Oh no, it needs to go the other way around. We need a 60 degree rotator. I'm just going to buy this. This seems like it would be insanely helpful, especially in hexagonal mode, to be able to, to do something that way around. I'm going to spend some points on that. Um, so then, yeah, when we do this, we can just do this, rotate this this way. So then... And now I've blocked this up because I made this bit disappear, so now it can't progress anymore. No, it's blocked. So thankfully, you can just clear the contents of stuff like that. Um, yeah. So just to show you, if you can't, if you're not following me, because I'm rambling, the top section will be rotated slightly when it drops down, but when it drops down it won't have anything to land on, and so it will just land straight on the plate when it arrives. Tumpty tum, there we go. So that's good. So that one's already technically done as well. You're sorted. Give me those research points. What's this? Just cut it again, and then and then cut it a bit more. Okay, fine. I'll get on with that. Not right now, of course. Okay. Well, let's let's call it a day at least for now. Just do a short episode one, just to give you a, an idea of what to expect and what is going on here. Uh, a lot more happens. If you think, oh, that, is that is that a whole game? A lot more happens. Uh, yeah, the stacking exists, trains exist, foundations, stuff, you can build more out, you have to mine your own shapes, obviously these are just set up for you at the beginning of the game, so you have to go further afield and set up miners and trains to bring them in, and uh, yeah, there's colours, so you have to end up painting the shapes yourself, and various other mechanics like that, um, so if we, just to show you, if we scroll all the way across on the milestones, that's a shape eventually. That's a shape eventually. I mean, even so, even these look fairly simple, to be honest with you, from, from regards to some other things I've seen. Let's go all the way down the task list, shall we? Crack the mystery. Good God. Ah! No thanks. <laughs> That's only number 34. Can't remember. I think there's 100. Ooh, nice. Big fan of that. So yeah, here's to shapes too. It's very good. I very much enjoy it and I'm going to continue to play it. So if you want to see more, be sure to subscribe if you like what's going on. Do the old YouTube stuff. That's good. I'm here. I'm always here. I'm not going anywhere. Probably. Maybe. <laughs> no, I'm not going anywhere. It's fine. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.